The Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes of St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in her head. While well, Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out in the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new falling snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. And what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. But a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them my name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the house, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, they meet with an obstacle and mount to the sky. So up to the house top the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in the twinkling I heard in the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. I drew in my head and was turning around, and down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and a beard on his chin as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jolly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wind of his eye and a twist of his head it soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but a right to his work. He filled all the stockings and he turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside his nose, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Thank you.